Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to use the GET request to be able to get data from an online server on Cocos 2DX C++ networking. If you haven't set up your project to use HTTP requests, then check out our video for that because that covers all the good stuff to get your project set up for networking. Once you're all done with that, you need to firstly have access to some sort of online server. I've got access to obviously our Sonar Learning website. I've just created a folder in there called Extras, Cocos Tutorial, and there's a file in there called get.php. More than welcome to use this URL. And in here, I'm just going to keep it simple and return a number. So I'm just going to return, actually, I'm going to return some text. Hello world this is sonar systems smiley face so if we save that that's all you need to do on the server side obviously you don't need to use php you could use another web language but this isn't about the web server side really it's about the interaction that occurs on the cocos 2dx application side so if i just go back to where was it just minimize this Xcode. Oh, there was the thumbnail. Couldn't see it before. And first of all, you need to actually set the URL. I actually had it here. So if I will just go back here and refresh, it says, Hello world, this is Sonar Systems. Website doesn't look anything special and it doesn't need to because generally we wouldn't be visiting this URL. We would just be getting data from it. So set URL, get.php. The next thing we need to do is set the request type. The request set request type so for this is cocast 2d network http request and now colon colon type colon colon get so that's all good Oh, semicolon missed that what we're going to do now is include the vector header and that's because we're going to be storing the result we get from our server in a vector and we're going to be iterating through it and pumping out the individual characters so vector if we scroll down in the on http request completed or wherever you've named it you just want to do std vector and it's gonna have a type of char. I'm gonna call it buffer equals response. Get response data. Yep, that's all good. First of all, it's gonna do a simple printf. And this printf is going to be get data. And now we're going to iterate over our response. So for this, we're going to do unsigned int i equals zero, i less than buffer dot no, size, because obviously we need the size, i plus plus. In here, we're going to do printf percent c. And for this, you just need to do buffer. Make sure this is in brackets. Asterisk, we're just going to be doing. And we need the character at index i. And finally, outside, we're just going to do print f backslash n. It's just so this is on a separate line. I'm going to put a couple of other extra backslashes. So if I were to run this now, in the log, we should hopefully get this response right here just a moment now oh here we go okay okay here we go hello world this is sonar systems so there you go, it worked. The get request allows us to get some data. If, for example, we were to just go back to 
my web server and I'm just going to comment this out and let's do echo fix times 7 which is 42 and now if I go back to Xcode rerun this as you can see it's returned the result of 42 once you've got the data you can store it into an integer a string whatever you want you can manipulate it however your game requires you to so that's the get request if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform thonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe as it really does help and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.